Taurus, good morning. Welcome to your reading. This is a past, present, future reading for the sign of Taurus. Concerning love. What's going on for the sign of Taurus, please? Past, present, future. Knight of Cups. High Priestess. Mm, you've become much wiser. Ace of Swords going forward. Bottom of the deck. Four of Swords. Yeah, you're definitely taking your time out to work out what you want to do about this connection. Again, in the, in the past, you know, feelings became clear, especially yours, on what direction you wanted to take, not only with this connection, but with your life. You're kind of following your heart's desire. I feel in the past a lot of you were prone to reacting to outside influences very, very emotionally. That's not a criticism, by the way. It's just an observation. And I'm getting that. The bubble kind of burst. You, the, for a long time, you were bottling up feelings and feelings and feelings. And then you kind of something happened here and you said your piece silence fell a while went by and i'm kind of getting communication coming in but you kind of figured out for yourself you know mistakes from the past and now you're much wiser to the fact you're much more intuitive you're listening to it. That's the most important thing. But with this high priestess, you kind of connecting with the universe much better. You're holding back on a big decision here. Kind of getting a lot of you want to break free from this situation. You're still very restless. A lot of you are possibly fully aware that this person will try and reconnect. But I'm getting your response is going to be the cold shoulder in a lot of ways. You're certainly going to make this person work because there's trust issues. But there's some hidden feelings going to come. If, if they've not already been... Aired, you know, there's some hidden feelings here about to be aired. Let's get some more into this. Yeah, nine of coins, ace of cups, something new coming in or has come in, queen of cups. Bottom of the deck. Ooh, nine of swords. Yeah. There's a lot of stress and forgiveness here. A lot of you are feeling you don't know if you can forgive this person or not. But the biggest challenge is not forgiving them, it's forgiving yourself. You know, you lay a bed at what you lay in bed at night, awake thinking, how did I let this person get under my skin? You know, if I let them back in, will the Will the past repeat itself? You know, it's... In a lot of ways, the person you're dealing with was very money-orientated, very, very independent. You felt the... You know, the past situation... You, know, it, you felt comfortable, you work-wise... But like you felt a piece of you was missing. There was something not quite right about this relationship, con connection. And 
you've just gone from day to day, you know, without giving much thought to your situation, but then it dawned on you. Somebody fresh came into your life, somebody new and exciting. Now, this could possibly start off as a friendship, but it has the potential to develop much more. You're developing feelings for this person. And going forward over the next few weeks, four to eight weeks, one month, two months, you're going to make a decision on a completely fresh start. You've got the Ace of Swords and Ace of Cups here. Very, very emotions. You're trying to work out your emotions. You're trying to work out just how what it is you feel for this new person and um, what it is you feel about the past. But there is a decision here on love. The truth's going to be revealed in a lot of ways to you, not always from outside circumstances. You're going to realise the truth about yourself as well. You know, some of the, with this Ace of Swords, some of these messages... You know, will come from the universe through intuition, through thoughts. Very sublime messages I'm getting. You'll have to work them out. You know, the, the universe doesn't put messages in big neon lights saying, please do this. You have to work it out. But sometimes that's part of the fun. But you also realise that once you make this decision, there's only one way you can go. And that's forward. Now, to you, this may look quite like my left hand, but trust me, this is my right hand. The right hand side of tarot cards, and to me, I see as the future. This side, I see as the past, the left. Big decision there. A lot more inspiration. And for a lot of you, to boot, there could be a new career on the line as well. There's a lot of aspects in your life coming together on the love, on the practical front, on the career front, and there's chances here to for a restart. Thanks for watching. Bye for now.